So let's start the program on a 8051 microcontroller. So what we are going to use is a KL Microvision software for 8051 microcontroller programs. So the first initial step is when you start the program, you need to open the project. So we are going to create a new project. So say project, new project, and choose a file name for it. Say MC experiments. I give an MC experiments and give save. And here we are going to choose Atmet microcontroller. These are the set of other processor or other microcontrollers which is available, or these are the different vendors which provide their own microcontroller devices. So here we are going to choose Atmel. And in that, there are different versions. We have Atmel starting with 48801. And here we are going to use Atmel 89, S8252. So I'm going to choose a 89, S8252. So these are the features of that particular 89, A2, S8289, S8252 microcontroller. So we can see the features of that corresponding microcontroller. Uh, obviously, microcontroller is an 8 bit microcontroller. So we have 32 IO lines and 3 timers and counters and 9 interrupt sources. These are the additional features of the microcontroller having WASDAR timer and 2 DPTS as well, and uh, flash memory and EE e promise present. And it has 256 bytes of on-chip RAM. So I've chosen it and give OK and say. And this stays about uh, creating a startup file. So you can give yes. Yes. So you can see that a startup file is being created for the corresponding dot eight a five one microcontroller. Now we are going to type a new program. So for that, I'm going to create a new window. I'll say file new. And presently, I'll open a program which is being already typed. So this is a program written for 805 microcontroller and here we are written for addition of two numbers. So here I will just give a first explanation about this program. So initially we are having the origin of the program initializing the starting address of the program as 0000H and I am fetching the first value E7 and stored on to accumulator. And thereafter, I'm taking the second value, the ADH, and already we have an accumulator E7. So E7 added with 87 AD, we'll get a result. And also we need to check whether is there any carry generated. So here we have an addition, uh, further we have another two values, which is to be added. So here, what are the carry generated will be taken as auxiliary carry, because this carry will be added to the next addition values. So initially, I'm, what are the result comes in accumulator will be stored onto R6. Now we have one result in R6, but also a carry which is there available in the program status word, initiating that if the carry generates or it will be stored as auxiliary carry, setting it to one. If there is no carry, it means auxiliary carry will be zero. So if there, if at all there is a carry, it will be added with C plus B plus one. So here again we are fetching the next value three C, stored on to accumulator, and then the second value is taken three B added with the 3C value or also with carry. So that is why I have written as add C, that is add the two values with the carry. And here also we need to check is there a carry any generator that can be checked with the program status word. The final result of the addition of 3C and 3B will be stored in R7. So we have two results of E7, BD, AD stored in RC and 3C, 3B added along with carry stored in R7. So let us see by executing the program. So for executing the program, the program is being typed and I need to save for it. So I'll just give file savers. I'll say add numbers dot asm. It's an assembly level language program. 
So I'll save it as add numbers dot ASM. So it's being saved. Now we need to check for the errors. So before checking, we need to add to the source group, add files to source group. So I need to check the ASM. I have selected as ASM. So it is add numbers dot ASM, add close. So after this, we need to debug it. So before debugging, I need to build a target file for that. So first initially I'm translating the current file. So I'm giving translate and indicate straight away is there any error. If there is any error, it will be indicated as one error. Next is building target. Yes, I build the target along with the startup file. Again, rebuild. Yes. Now let us execute the program. So here we are not going to see the result in the memory window. Normally we can also see the results in the memory locations. But here we are seeing the results in the registers R6 and R7. So give star debug start. So here are the registers. We know A05 microcontroller has 8 bit register R0 to R7. And here is the accumulator and B register, stack pointer and program pointer, DPTR. And then we have program status word. So here we can see auxiliary carry and carry. If any carrier auxiliary carry generated from the result, it will be set to one. If not, it will be written to zero. Start debug. Already I given start debug. So you can go straight away to after giving start debug, you can give step. So let us see step wise how it takes the values. So we know that initially the program is initiated to 000 h and then the value e7 is stored in the accumulator. You can see here the value e7 is stored into the accumulator. The initial first value is taken, and again I'm giving one more time f11 stepwise. So e7 added with ad will get 74 as well as a carry. The what of the result comes from the e7 ad for r6 register will have the result is 74 with the carry as well as as we are going to do further addition that value is also going to be taken as an axillary carry for the next higher byte values so what we are done is lower byte values so let me do now you can see the result in r6 the initially the result is available in accumulator only that is ad added with e7 generates the result of 74 which is available in accumulator again that is your AD value is replaced with the value of 74, which is obtained after the addition. Yes, now we can see that the value, the result 74 is being moved on to R6 register. Now further, we are going to take the next higher byte values, 3C and 3B. So again, 3C is loader on accumulator. And the previous result, please make sure that it is, it is still available in R, R6. So next value 3C is slow down to accumulator. And again, 3B added with 3C along with carry. So if you want, I'll show you. You can see E7 added with 8D gives 74 with a carry. So that is what is taken as axillary carry. Now 3C plus 3b gives 77 plus one carry will be there that is accelerated carry taken from the previous result so that will be taken as 78 or we can check like this c that is lower order value c plus b is 17 plus one carry is 18 so 8 is the result for c plus b for 18 is the result along with the carry so after putting the lower value as 8, there is a carry generated from there. So that is taken to the next value. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. So that is how it is obtained. So I'll do it again. So 3C plus 3B plus 1 axillary carry. So it is the result is 78. So you got the result also in 78. Still again, we are going to check the result. We can see that 
is there any carry generated no because there was no carry generated from 3c plus 3b so carry is zero but this accelerator carries a previous value result or so finally the end result is obtained from r6 and r7 as 74 and 78 So let us stop debugging this program. I start the debug. Now we are going to do the next program as subtraction. So for that, either you can close this file. So I'll close this file. And also you should remove the ASM file which is being added to the target. Yes, it is removed. Now I'm going to do subtraction. So again. File new, we can give. So it is file new. So let me save the program. File save us. SUB numbers dot ASM. Save. So we know the steps again. We need to add that files to the source group as dot asm sub numbers at close. Let me check for errors. Yes, there is no error. Build target, rebuild target. It is on the left corner. You can see translate, build target, rebuild target. Left top corner. <coughs> So let me start debugging this. Okay. So the same procedure. I'm taking the first value 62 to come later. Now it is subtract with borrow. SUBB indicates subtract with borrow. Now we need to check whether the result is CC. So it is 62 minus 96. It is the last, you can see the lower value, it is CC. So we have obtained the result as CC in the accumulator. And also, if there is any borrow that can be checked from the program stated as well. Yes, it is there. The borrow is being generated, but there is no specific. Register the program status for storing the borrow. It is stored in the accelerator carry and carry only. Again, we know the result has to be take, uh, stored into the R6 register. So CC is stored in the R6 register after doing the subtraction between 62 minus 96. Again, next value, we are going to take that 27 is kept in accumulator. And again, after doing the subtraction with 27 and 12, we get the result is 14, but let us check. So we know there is a borrow also there. So 27 minus 12, 27 minus 12 is 15 and minus one borrow is there. So we should get the result as 14 or 7 minus 2 is 5 and we have a borrow minus 1 4 and 2 minus 1 is 1 2 minus 1 is 1 or straight away say this 27 minus 12 is 15 minus 1 borrow is 14 so now we can see there is no borrow generator from this result. So we can see that it is zero. So the end result is stored in again in R7. So we have RC is 6 as CC and R7 is 14. So this is the program for addition and subtraction of two numbers.